Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness, set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the, from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
In the in my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. And my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please all stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God? Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are God's. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes? Because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I form them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized. And there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Let us once again thank the Lord for gathering us in this beautiful Friday afternoon as we continue our Lenten journey at malapit na ho tayo pumasok sa huling linggo ng atin hong in-anticipate na mga mahalaga at mabanal na pagdiriwang. Reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I was reminded by a story that was featured in the March 2007 Reader's Digest issue magazine about the Bangladeshi fire service driver in the name of Mohammed Abul Kaer. According to the story, over 100,000 people in Bangladesh travel every day by ferry to cross any of more than 230 rivers around the country. More often than not, these ferries would be jam-packed and overwhelmed with passengers. Hence, tragedies of sinking ferries are common. Dahil sa marami mong sumasakay at talagang napupuno, common na ho sa kanila ang lumubog ang mga ferries. And most passengers, unfortunately, cannot swim. And when they cannot be pulled out of the water on time, natural ho, malulunod sila. Until 2007, Mohammed Abul Kaer had risked his life for 15 years. Imagine, labing limang taon na alam yung ginagawa niya, binabalik niya yung mga katawan ng mga nalunod sa mga river na yan doon sa kanilang mga pamilya. And when interviewed about philosophies of his heroic deed, he just simply responded, I love helping human beings in times of tragedy. But what struck me, my dear brothers and sisters, is the comment of his commander-in-chief. Because when the commander-in-chief was also interviewed, he gave this comment to his man, Mohammed, by saying, God has given him something special. Otherwise, there is no explanation for what he does. My dear brothers and sisters, I am moved by the commander's words. In simple terms, he means that what Muhammad is doing is reflective of God in him at work through him. This too is a conviction I personally hold that everything we do mirrors the God in us. And I take great comfort 
in the conviction from the words of our Lord Jesus in the Gospel today. Believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Ibig sabihin, nasa sa Kanya ang Diyos. Nasa sa atin din ang Diyos working in and through us. That's why I always believe that everything that we do mirrors the God in us. If we go back to the first part of the Gospel of today, tataka kayo, tinanong ni Jesus, bakit niyo ako babatuhin? Pagkatapos ng maraming magagandang bagay at milagrong ginawa ko, sumagot sila. Sabi nila, we will not stone you by the good works, but by blasphemy. They cannot take that Jesus is the God, the Son of God. They cannot see that in the works that performs our Lord, God is with Him. Maganda hong paalala as we come to Holy Week and reflect, pray, and discern that what we are actually trying to unveil is once again the presence of God in our lives. The God in us, the God through us. Kaya tingnan po natin mabuti ang ating buhay. Tingnan din po natin yung mga binabato natin at ginagawa natin sa ating kapwa at sa ating sarili. Because again, everything that we do mirrors the God in us. We should thus be careful with the things that we do. We should be careful with our work. We should be careful with our attitudes. We should be careful with our relationships. They speak on our behalf. Whether we have God in us or we are godless persons. Let us heed to the invitation of our Lord. Let us mirror Him to one another through the good works that we have done and we are going to do for one another. Please stand. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through his prophets so that we may spread the message of Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its leader, may fulfill her mission of proclaiming the gospel without compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the message of Jesus, like living, may influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may seek self-discipline, especially during this penitential season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the trials of life may not discourage us, but enable us to grow in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who imagine that they do not need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent us the words of the prophets to sustain our hope. Grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless day, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed day, Lord, God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it to you, O Lord. And Please Pray. stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. The un may the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank <laughs> you.